Hey guys, happy Easter. It is Easter Sunday, 2014. Uh, we're going to do a little family get together here about 5.30 tonight. But in the meanwhile, I came out to the shop this morning to see how the bed looked and uh, to do a couple odds and ends and I'll show you what's going on. All right, here's bed next morning. No, zero die back. Still looks just like I shot it last night. So I went out and uh, I washed the Super Duty today, and uh, she's clean. She looks pretty good. I still think I'm going to end up blending the door, but that's source for another topic. Um, we're good for now. What I'm getting ready to do is uh, right here, these two holes is where the bumper bolt's on, and you can sort of see a rectangular outline here, and there was a kind of a fixture that held the two bolts so you didn't have to put a wrench on the other side and it held them both uh, right where you needed them and you just put the nuts on and you could run them down with your wrench or your uh, impact whatever you're using so I'm going to take you in the shop and show you what I got going on basically the uh, the piece of steel that held the two together was a real thin gauge piece of metal but it rotted apart and uh, these are the bolts right here and uh, those little uh, pieces with the hex shape in the middle are what's left of those okay so we're gonna make a piece of steel and weld these bolts heads right to it now I've taken uh, let's turn a light on here taken a piece this is diamond plate but it's eighth inch it should work good and uh, I marked out my holes on it and we're going to cut a piece of steel and weld some bolts on it so that we have a, uh, a fixture to hold those when I put it back on and take it back off. So I'll bring you back when I get you set up. Alright, so I've got this piece clamped into my uh, work table for the drill press. Um, I'm going to put my safety glasses on. These are just sunglasses, but I should keep the iron filings out of my way. and. Uh, you don't have to wear gloves, but I'm going to put gloves on. I'm trying to keep my hands a little cleaner here for Sunday. Um, I'm drilling a half inch hole in these, which isn't quite big enough, but it's the biggest drill bit I have. Um, and I will have to take a reamer and ream that hole open once I get it drilled. Half inch is a little ambitious, but uh, it's in the drill press. So as long as we don't force it too hard, it'll be fine. Dull drill bit too. So she's going to chatter and squeak. I can sharpen this one. It's the one I drilled the uh, bed bolts out with. I'd love to show you guys how to sharpen a drill bit, but I'm terrible at it. I think that's the first thing they teach you if you go to apprentice to be a machinist. Alright, that's miserable. I am going to have to try and sharpen it here, so uh, I'll bring you back. I'm going to drill these two holes and uh, I'll set this up and show you what I got. Alright, here's the arsenal of tools I use to ream those holes out with. Uh, I've got a step bit. These are cheap, uh, just Harbor Freight ones. I abuse the hell out of this, and the uh, the one right under the three-quarter inch hole has wore out. So in order to get to a three-quarter, I use this carbide burr and the uh, die grinder. So I'll show you what I got here. I uh, made it big enough so that these bolts will set down in there. I've ground all this away um, so it'll sit flat. I put it in the truck and made a couple reference marks there. And uh, this should line up. I'm going to tack it and then go check it and uh, make sure that it's right and then we'll weld it solid. So I'm going to get that set up. Alright, here we go. This is what they look like. 
still smoking. There was a little uh, fluid film on the threads of that that I used to get it off of there. And yes, I moved the can of brake cleaner that was sitting right there and the uh, sheet that was sitting over the chop saw. We don't need any fires. So we're going to let that one cool off and uh, we'll go double check it here before I make the next one. But we should be good to go. So we'll catch you guys later. All right. There you guys go. Shot a little uh, Rust-Oleum fast dry enamel paint on those so that uh, tomorrow when I put the bed back on, I can uh, put the bumper on. So there's the two of those and uh, I also uh, found something out this morning as I was uh, inspecting this bed. Right where I said I got it wet here and I was anticipating a run, I got one right here. Just a little sucker, about four inches long, came right out of there. Not terrible, it's a little one, but, uh, yep, I got one. You can see it. The camera makes it look really long, so it might be a little longer than I think it is, but uh, it's not a big, fat, juicy one, which is sweet. So, at any rate, I'm going to go home and get cleaned up uh, about 3.30. Get this cheached up to the YouTubes for you, so happy Easter, and we'll catch you guys later.